Don't ask me what I'm doing. I love doing this. I'm just holding my phone. That wasn't a good idea. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. There's like gum. Oh. This is just a lot of makeup. Guys, so long time no see. It seems like I don't know the last time I vlogged. I have a reason behind it because I, mean, I don't have an interesting life, so I only like to vlog whenever something exciting is happening. What am I stepping on? Okay, <laughs> I've been vlogging, but then I just deleted everything because it's all really boring footage, and I don't want to bore you guys with my vlogs. Like you probably already do. So I'm gonna vlog today, and also I'm gonna try and just upload the vlogs right after I do them, edit them the night of. I'm really feeling. <laughs> up to the challenge so i'm cleaning my room currently gotta go get my comforter because i washed it yesterday i also have to wash my backpack because i have gum in there i'll show you guys after i'm done putting this stuff up and i'll be back last night i had like period cramps but i'm not on my period so it was really weird it hurt really like bad it was not comfortable at all and it sucked because i woke up in the middle of the night and thank god it wasn't a school night even though i still did wake up this morning like feeling great it just sucks because i kept on waking up in the middle of the night and i was like why am i up right now recently i've been really liking megan trainer's album oh i'm trying to vlog more often because i am um, not going to be uploading on my main channel often because I burnt my camera and I don't like uploading videos with horrible quality and I've noticed that this camera has horrible quality unless I'm vlogging it's fine when I'm vlogging but once I put on a tripod in my room it just looks really weird tell me if this happened to you before one day I um, had my um, gum and it dumped out in my backpack and I was like Ugh. and I didn't clean it up out of my backpack because I didn't feel like it and now I have gum over everything it's not even like sticky gum it's like not even chewed gum and it's horrible so Oh, my camera. Something is on this. I apologize. Let me fix this. Is that better? I hope so. But there's like gum all over this. And it sucks because I really like this lip stuff, but I don't want gum on it. This looks like clay, but this was in the bottom of my bag. This is gross. I can't even. Okay, so I also decided to clean up my pencil pouch. I turned it inside out because it was really nasty and I need to wash it too. But look at all the trash. Like, I had like markers and flat pencils don't do that because he have sticky notes it gets all over your sticky notes and they're not clean and he wants to write on a dirty sticky note and look there's still more stuff I'm throwing this away because it's disgusting oh my god i hate this has anyone else had that one teacher that just, just never puts grades in or they give you a whole bunch of basic work and so when the test comes you have no idea what the stuff is about because i have my teacher like that and it sucks because I have an 83 in the class because I got like bad grades and some stuff that was like a major grade. And um, his class is super easy. And we have a whole bunch of busy work, but he never puts it in the grade book. Or we have a whole bunch of work. We did a test like a week or two ago and he still hasn't put it in the grade book. And he's so lazy. And we have times in class where we do nothing. He's just sitting there. I'm like, you know, you could be putting in grades right now. And he hasn't put grades in for a month. I have always, except for in his class, and I have an 83, which is like. That, that obviously means something wrong with the teacher because I will read my grades to you and I'm not embarrassed at all, actually. I'm going to have a 96, an 83 in that class, a 98, a 97, a 96, and a 96. Okay, so I used to remember, I remember I learned how to do my makeup from YouTube and there's a lot of beauty years that don't really know how to do makeup and so I feel like I'm one of them and I want to learn how to do my makeup better so I'm watching some videos. I used to always watch these kind of videos but now they're boring to me but um, I'm watching Lauren Curtis right now. This is... um makeup do's and don'ts and i want to see if i'm doing any of the don'ts because i don't want to show you guys some bad stuff also i vacuumed up my stuff finally and now here one second now all my stuff is just in a pile i vacuumed it up so now there's nothing nasty on the ground hey guys so it's been a little bit since the last vlog it's now 11 i mean 10 48 and i'm about to take a shower and just get ready for the day because we're probably, I'm not going to do anything today, but I just feel a lot better if I get ready because yesterday I really did nothing. Alrighty, so I don't know why I just said already, but I just finished my makeup and I'm going to probably do this for my spring makeup tutorial or my get ready with me for spring because I'm doing that with a collab with Jasmine. If you're watching this, hey girl. Um, yeah, um, so I'm going to probably do this makeup for my collab. So I'm not going to tell you what I use, but I figured I found this lipstick in my, my, my lipstick drawer. I have a ton of lip glosses, but I never use them because a lot of them don't suit my skin tone. It's really hard to find a lipstick that goes really deep in my skin tone, and this one is amazing. So if you guys have like a similar skin tone to mine, I would recommend this one. I feel like I'm talking over my music. Let's turn it down a little bit more. So this is the Mary Kay. I'm literally blind, so it's gonna take me a while to read this. So this is in the color Raspberry Ice. 
Mary Kay, I think it's like a high-end makeup brand. But I think it'd be pricey. But my aunt is like a Mary Kay person. And I think this is my grandma's. I don't really know. But my aunt is like a Mary Kay worker. I don't know. So that's why I think I got this. So this is the color. It's like a, a nude before a darker skin tone. If you guys have a darker skin tone like me, you guys would know that nudes don't look good. So this one is actually really nice. And it has like a, a pop of color. So I don't really like nudes. But... I love this one. Does my makeup look good? Do you guys like it? Do you like want a tutorial? Because I am going to do it. Um, I did do something different with my brows. And I used two different products on each brow to see which one I like better. I like this brow better. But I also did the concealer thing. And I kind of like it. Also, I'm going to wash my brushes right now. Because I haven't washed them in forever. Also, <laughs> you guys look at my hair. I'm doing Bantu knots. And I took out one to see if it looked good. And it was like nice waves. And I'm so excited. So I'm not keeping it until tomorrow which is gonna be crazy but you know i'm not going anywhere so oh i need to wash my brushes i keep on forgetting oh my god it's been way too long so i'm gonna take out my makeup palette and just bring this you guys can't even see yeah this is my, my brush setup i got this from target i saw it and it was only like five dollars and i was like oh my god this is perfect for my brushes i'm gonna use shampoo and i put water in it but i'm watching this video and i'm gonna learn how to make my own um stuff oh makeup brush cleaner um also i was gonna say something important I contour my nose does it look funny i actually really like it and i might do a video on how to contour a big nose because i never like how my face looks from the side because of my nose it just looks really well if you guys look at my video on my channel if you guys go to my um frozen video for um anna elsa i think it was elsa yeah elsa tutorial for halloween my um i had like a picture of my side of my face and i hated it i don't know why i used it i think that's the only picture that i took but i did not like how my nose looks from the side it just looks really weird so i kind of like it now because i contoured it so yeah the only thing is it's just like it's a weird shape i don't know i don't like it i don't like pointing it out either i watched the video and it was on pop sugar i'll try and get down below if you want it but it said to use shampoo and olive oil and mix them and that will make your concoction con concoction okay so i got my mixtures and then you just want to stir it and i'm using this whisk if my hand is so weird look this is how i'm holding it can you guys see in the mirror? I also cleaned this. So it's now clean and it had hair in it and I had no idea. And it's drying along with some of the other brushes. Right here. Like I said earlier, today's just a cleaning day. So I'm gonna clean this drawer because I'll show you. Oh, it's really heavy. It's in my makeup. And I don't wanna put this on my bed because it's gonna get makeup on it. One second. So this is currently <laughs> my eye drawer and I wanna get some kind of organizers to like put all my eyeliners in because I have so much. <laughs> There's a cotton ball in there for some reason. But I have so many eyeliners and it's so hard to know. Um, there's like an eyeliner or like an eyebrow thing. It's just annoying. So I'm cleaning up. Oh, I forgot all about this. I have so many palettes and I just forget about them. Like, I forgot I had this. This is the Into the Wild. No. <laughs> Where'd I get that from? This is Comfort Zone by Wet n Wild and everyone loved it. And it's really, actually, really pigmented. It's actually probably the best drugstore eyeshadow I've ever had. Like, I love it, but I haven't used it because I forgot I had it. Okay, guys, so <laughs> I have the hiccups. I'm going to get rid of them in a second. I'm going to show you guys how I get rid of them because all the I do, like, all the remedies in one. But I have so many eyeshadow. Oh, I have the hiccups again. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, I don't even realize it. So like, this is all my eyeshadow. And I even have more over there. And then I have so many eyeliners. I'm going to sort through and throw away the ones I don't use. And then I have, like, oh all of these kind of containers they're not all the same thing though like i have one eyeshadow that a single eyeshadow like i don't have any single eyeshadows which i don't have a problem <sighs> i don't have a problem with and then i have gel liner black and brown and then i also have blue which was my mom's this is just a lot of makeup in my first drawer i'm gonna go ahead and clean this out and i'm gonna show you guys how i get rid of my hiccups i should have done that before i started talking because now it's getting on my nerves oh you guys are like on top of the weirdest tripod right now and i'm not sure if you guys can see but basically what i do is i hold my breath drink water and go upside down on my head which i'm not really sure if i can do it with my hair but i do that all at once so i'm not sure if you guys can see hopefully but i do like i also have to have a water bottle since i'm doing it upside down it works every single time i have hiccups so do that if you guys can't get rid of your hiccups this is way better so much better the only thing i don't like about it is that it can't open all the way so if you want to like get everything in the back you have to like open it but in the front is all the stuff that i actually kind of use i have way too much makeup someone actually asked me to do a makeup collection which i did one like year ago 
obviously my makeup collection has changed since then but like it's not that much the only thing that would be different is me and my camera <laughs> so i went ahead and throw my um bag and backpack in the my wash with my sister's stuff and oh my gosh did you guys see that before i'm not sure if you did but if you did there's probably a picture oh my god the after is so much better ah um I just had so much stuff in here that I didn't need, and so I took it all out. So recently, I've been um, contacted contacted by this brand called Ricky Brazil, and I don't understand. I just ignore their emails because I checked. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I checked um, their website, and I was like, "This is fake. I feel like it's fake, and they're gonna like do something with my address, and I don't want to do that." Or like, I don't like any of the um items on their address i image search and everything was like just on the website but i just want to be sure and i don't want to do anything like that so they said um hi i'm just following up with you about branding and advertising opportunities dot, dot, dot. and they said i sent an email a few days ago but i'm just following you up because i'm very eager to work with you i'm amber with the ricky brazil clothing line brand at wikibrazil.com i'm reaching out to inquire you about branding and advertising opportunities and how we would further work together i think you and your fans will love our brand and the new look and feel we're bringing to the fashion industry i've learned a few sources so you can view our, few, view, <laughs> view our full collection and get a visual on our style and quality and then i also got another email and it says i'm so disappointed that i haven't been able to reach you about a business opportunity i don't like this company if you're watching this i i'm sorry i don't like any of your objects they're super ugly to me i'm just gonna say it and i need like a, a manager kind of because I'm at that subscriber point when people just keep on emailing me and I don't want to work with you and it's just annoying like please stop I'm about to put them in my spam but um I'll link their no I don't want to link them because they're ugly I'll show you guys the objects just on my vlog channel because they are so freaking ugly here are some tops okay the only look at this like um I'm 14 I will not wear any of this honestly it's just way no here are the pants, all of them, nothing I would wear. I'm sorry, I just don't think that my audience and um, my viewers would like any of this stuff. I don't know, I just don't, I'm not interested, I'm sorry. I still can't get over the fact that I'm vlogging with my hair like this. I have to go pee, I'm actually about to go. I'm trying to edit, but I have to go pee and I can't be distracted. Here's an in a little inside part of it. I'm probably upload this, upload this tomorrow. I'm not really proud of it, but here. I have to go pee so good. Sorry if it's moody because I have to go pee. I am currently getting an Ipsy bag and I have a box but I have a birch box and an Ipsy now. So next month I will have that and I'll do a birch box versus Ipsy. So it is almost 3 o'clock now and I've been editing and watching videos. I'm honestly, I would be like finished with this video, oh my gosh, if I um wasn't watching videos. But you know what, it's just more fun to have breaks. Oh my god, I look so fat right here. I don't look like that. <laughs> I don't know why I look like that. That face though. So, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I have a um, Tumblr and I'm on it all the time. I absolutely love it. It even has music and all of that stuff. I'll actually show you it. But it is Ashley Nicole blog. If you guys want to follow me, you can. I have like five followers and I don't really care how many followers I have, but I just love reblogging beautiful pictures. I really like photography, but I don't, <laughs> I always tell myself this. I don't have enough interesting life to take pictures of. This sounds so weird, but I love it and I just, so this is my Tumblr. I just reblog a whole bunch of stuff. You guys don't have my music is playing. <laughs> this is my Tumblr. Um, it just looks like this, and I really like the simple theme. And you can actually get my theme by just clicking this. So if you want a theme like mine, you can just do that. But it's really simple, and I really like it. So yeah, I'm just kind of promoting it because I really love my Tumblr, and I love Tumblr. It's an awesome thing, and it looks so pretty. And all these pictures I'm soon going to put on my wall. Um, I'm gonna print them out. I have this, which is getting old and it looks ugly, so I think I'm gonna get some twine and some fake flowers and make it look cute. And I'm so excited! Actually, I'll show you guys the DIY that I saw on Pinterest. So what they did is they took all you need is hot glue gun, exacto knife, and um, these flowers, um, and a pen and glue, <laughs> and then you just write your letter on a um, a cardboard thing. 
and then you cut it out and you put the flowers on it. And then she put it in a frame, which is so cute. I love the different colors, but the thing is, since my wall color, I think I might do like, they don't have gray flowers and gray flowers won't be cute. I just want like um, white with little yellow things in it. I think that'll look really cute. And then I was gonna put that in like, my wall in the center. And then I was gonna do like uh, um, a little twine. I'm gonna get twine and put flowers ever so on it, like just spread it. And then I was gonna get clothespins and clip photos on it. So I'm so excited to do that. I'm gonna try and do it when mom was here. Don't ask me what I'm doing. I love doing this. I do this holding my phone. That wasn't a good idea. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. Oh. Okay, so this sucks because my lips are like the thing that my lips and my nose are the things I hit out I have. And my lips, I always moisturize them, I always scrub them. But for some reason, they're always chapped, and I hate it. Oh my god. This is insane. But not sure you guys can see, but there is my cut. Oh my god, oh my god, you guys can. I'm sorry, my lips look so dry. Um, They always do. Oh my god, do you guys see that? that oh. Why does this have to be me? Right now, I am working on something for my vlog channel, because... I'm trying to get more um, professional with my vlog channel because most of my vlogs are just really slack because I hate editing vlogs. I will, I will vlog, but I just hate editing them. I made this, which is probably in the beginning of this vlog. Hopefully it was, but I used um, um, Pig Monkey and I have pink and white flowers. And this is in today's vlog. I think it's really cute. Okay, so I'm about to start editing this vlog. And how can one vlog when I do nothing in a day be 44 minutes long? So we're eating dinner now. And I have to get the camera, but we're having Monterey chicken. This looks like you have chicken, mashed potatoes, and oh, I just yeah. dropped my plate. Only if I didn't just get some, didn't get baked beans. I mean, ugh! I came and calling them baked beans. That's a homemade mashed potatoes. You gotta get up in them. <laughs> so it is currently 7:13, and I found a my new favorite YouTuber. I'm gonna her channel on the down bar if I remember but her unit her username is Lissetti XO she's so pretty her editing is flawless um I just love her and it's 7 13 I'm sure I said that already so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day I'm gonna take a shower take up my makeup and I think I'm gonna keep my hair like this until tomorrow so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and thumbs up for me starting to vlog like normal so I will see you guys later bye Ain't nobody love like you do Ain't nobody love Ain't nobody love